Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. Before I start, let me say a big thank you to G-Man who had me on his channel a couple of uh, days ago. And we had a good old chinwag about the heavyweights and uh, especially Joshua and this, you know, not fighting until December business, which apparently may have something to do with some proposed Saudi sort of super card or full of heavyweights. Joshua versus Wilder. Usek versus Fury and Dubois might be on there. I mean, yeah, all of this is, you know, a case of, I'm not holding my breath, but it sounds like some sort of fantasy Saudi card. Well, if anyone's got the money to pull it off, they have. But, um, but yeah, anyway, we, this was, this has happened since me and G made had our little chat. But what I'm going to do is if you, if you're interested, um, I'll leave the link for G man's, uh, channel for the, 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 uh, you know, the live that I was on, um, and have a listen, it lasts for about an hour, just over an hour, I think, uh, and of course, if you're not subscribed to G-Man's channel, do so, you probably are subscribed, because most of, <laughs> most of G-Man's subscribers have come over to this channel, but, you know, I appreciate your support, and G-Man's a great guy, uh, so give his channel all the support you possibly can. Anyway, I want to do a quick video on the subject of Amir Khan failing a drugs test, because a lot of people have said to me, Look, you gave Conor Ben a load of heat over his failed test. And you kind of just dismissed Khan. Why do you do that? Just because he's retired? Well, it doesn't make it any, any more right that he failed the test. And I absolutely agree with that. You know, I have no vested interest, no horse in the race. I don't care about Conor Ben or Amir Khan. Never met him, never likely to meet him. Um... What do I think of them from the outside looking in? I think Ben's a bit of a spoilt prick. And I think um, Khan was <laughs> an eccentric, somewhat amusing. Um, but nevertheless, a courageous guy. You know, you say what you like about Khan being chinny and all that and all of his outside the ring antics. But the guy fought everyone he possibly could. You know, he, he went out there looking for the biggest challenges. Too much so, in fact, in some cases, because I think he hung around too long for Mayweather and Pacquiao. Kind of stunted his career a little bit. He did take on Canelo, jumped up a couple of eight divisions um, for Crawford. You know, he, yeah, he was chinny, wasn't he? But it, so what? You know, if a guy gets in the ring and has the guts to face the very best, um, I've got respect for him, you know. And I respected Ben, even though, I mean, even before he failed his test, I was, I didn't particularly like Conor Ben, but I didn't get, I didn't get the impression that he was a particularly uh, pleasant guy. But, you know, he, he always had that spoilt vibe to me and that rather sort of egotistical thing. And of course, we all need an ego, but we have to control our egos. It's good to have an ego because it means you're going to, you know, reach for, you know, far-fetched goals. But when your ego's out of control, it just ends up, it actually is self-destructive. Um, and I think that's what's happening in a roundabout way to Conor Ben, that sort of narcissistic element to him. I, that's the impression I get. Certainly he's behaved appallingly uh, since he failed those two, those two tests. But let me explain to you why the, the difference between these two characters, okay? First of all, all right, Ben, as I've just said, Ben failed two tests, not one. Khan failed one at the end of his career. Secondly, Khan failed a test or the tests uh, ad adverse uh, finding came after his fight with Kell Brook. And I'm going to leave aside all the business about how long it took to come out into the open and the discrepancy. The, uh, confidentiality element of UCAD and all the rest of it, which has been covered by other people. I'm, I'll, maybe I could do a separate video on it, but I don't really feel inclined to. It's been well documented, you know, UCAD and not revealing the tests and blah, blah, blah. You know, the fact of the matter is Ben failed two tests. Khan failed one. Khan's test came out after a fight. Ben's two tests were revealed before a fight. The aborted Eubank junior fight so there's that and there's also the fact and this is most importantly of all to me is that even if you don't approve of the confidentiality element of it which i don't by the way um 
at least Khan participated with the board and with UCAD um, and appealed and went through the process and went to a tribunal. Um, ben didn't do that. Ben was like, the hell with a lot of you. The hell with UCAD. Here's my license back. Don't care about the board. I'm innocent. The hell with all of you. Um, but I still expect to fight and I still expect to get paid a lot. And I, expect, I still expect the public to, you know, put into their deep into their pockets for their hard earned cash and give it to me. But don't expect me to do anything, anything at all. Hey, I've got my 270 page dossier. Can we have a look at it? No. What do you want to look at it for? Just take my word for it. I'm innocent. No, <laughs> life doesn't work like that. People don't work like that. OK. With Khan, it's a case of. OK. You know, I'll work with you. I, I believe that that substance is, is in my system. It, certainly without my knowledge, perhaps erroneously, but I'll work with you. In fact, hey, I'm retired. I'll take your two year ban because actually the tribunal did find that it, it's probable Khan didn't know it was in his system, but they still dish out a two year ban. Had it been a case of Khan uh had it had had the tribunal decided that Khan um, did know it was in his system, or that it was likely that it was in his system, he'd have had a four-year ban. So, but he took it on the chin and took a two-year ban. And okay, he's retired, so you, you know, what does it matter to him? I mean, it, I suppose it puts the mockers on a comeback if he was ever going to make one, which is hopefully unlikely. I, I don't think he was, but but with Ben, no, 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 it's, it it was never in my system. I don't I don't agree with you know I don't agree with what the WBC said. You know, they're saying it was in my system. And, uh, no, you know, and, uh, you know, it's not enough for him that, that they said, oh, well, you know, it, as far as we can see, it's down to not eggs, but egg supplement. No, it's not down to eggs. It was never in my system. You know this, do you? Yeah, I've got a 270 page dossier. Can we have a look at it? No, you can't. All right. So you're not going to work with you, Kaz. You're not going to work with the board. That is the side of things that upsets people about Connor Ben, myself included. With Amir Khan, it look again. I, it's not like I support Khan and I don't support anyone. I don't. I don't care about these people. As I'm just a boxing fan. I like watching good fights, but I want them clean. I want clean fighters and I want clean fights. Otherwise, forget about it. It's just not not of any interest to me. So that's the difference for me. This, I guess, you could call it the manner in which the two fighters handled their respective situations. I have more time for the way Khan handled it than I do. I don't have any time for the way Ben has handled it. And more, more to the point, the team around him, especially Eddie Hearn. But, hey, that's my take. What do you think of this? What do you think? Um, does that? If you're one of those people that said to me, you know, oh, you, you, you're being a bit, you know, you're not really being fair on Ben if you're going to, treat Khan like that with a bit more I was never treating anyone with kid gloves um, to me they, they they should both be banned I'm not someone who believes in lifetime bans by the way I, I, I mean I think I think there are different <laughs> there are different degrees of guilt you know I would never I would never compare you know Ben or Khan to someone like Jarrell Miller who to me he deserves a lifetime ban because he's failed God knows how many tests and we're talking about a whole, you know, plethora of substances, many of which involved had to be ingested. Well, they, they weren't ingested; they had to be put into the body using um, intravenous methods, so or muscular in, needles in the musc in the uh, muscular um, injections. So I I don't have any time for for drug cheats in general, but yes, there are degrees. I fully accept that. I fully accept that. So anyway, that's my spiel for today. Let me know what you think. And, uh, you know, if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you didn't like the video, hit the like button anyway. Go on, do us a favour. Oh, and subscribe. I'll catch you later. We've got Zilly Zhang and um, Joe Joyce battering lumps out of each other. Two big lumps battering chunks out of each other, we hope. I'll do a video on that. Catch you later. Thanks for your time, as always. Bye for now.